So it's Forest Green versus Sheffield Wednesday. Let's do this review and yeah, let's just get all three points, shall we? Hello and welcome to this video. You could like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'd much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm. Sharing gets in front of people's faces and subscribing let people know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live and when live streams happen. Did a watch along for this again. Thank you for coming and joining for the watch along. Really enjoyed it. Uh, it was just a really good uh, turnout again. Really happy with it. So thank you very much. So, when they're playing Forest Green, uh, we're going to have to... Start, like, taking the dust down from uh, Tuesday night. Start again. Now, a lot of people have gone, oh, you've lost this thing, so you're now going to have an issue. Now, we just going to keep doing what we do, we've do. we been doing. We had a funny feeling that game would be up there with one of the games that probably was going to be the one that we would lose. Up until the third goal, we really got back into it. Uh, we lost a little bit of concentration. But then, what they did it, they got, they got all three points and fair play to them. But we move on. We play Forest Green next. So the team lineup for Forest Green is Duhan, Bernard, Goodwin, Malfi, Cooper, Robinson, Magoo, Magoo, Magooch, I think, Bunker, Savage. Uh, so that's Robbie Savage's son. Uh, McAllister, Garrick, Pete, Peter Harris. The subs are Thomas, McKenzie, Moore Taylor, Brown, Omatoria, Bakioko, and O'Brien. Now, Wednesday, have an interesting one. We thought there were going to be a Wilkes in the starting lineup, i.e. on the bench, but he's not past that fitness test that they thought he was going to do. Darren Moore did say on the Friday press conference, not 100% sure if he's going to start, start this. We'll check on Saturday and see how he's done, and it's not gone through. But it goes Dawson, Palmer, Iortha, Flint, James, Johnson, Backinson with a start. Bannon, Adoniran, Gregory and Smith, and Adoniran with a shot start as well. So, Backinson has come out the team for... Uh, Backinson's in the team for Volks, so I'm wondering if that's just resting Volks uh, because we've got game week in, week out. So, I wonder if that's just rest. Dotdale, Hunt, Femiro, Brown, Volks, Shipton, and Deli Bashiru. Again, though, no real attacking force if we need it to come off that bench kind of thing. That is my only worry with this bench. Good lineup, but again, still no attacking players, which again, I say, is a bit of a worry, but it's how we come through that. Like, we, we should be okay in this game. Again, it'll be a good game where Lee Gregory could get some more goals and more confidence. Same for Smith. Now, a lot of people will think this is a free hit, uh, which it won't be. Like, if you actually look at what Forest Green have done as late, there's only one lock game by the odd goal or two so let's see how this is now it'd be great to get a win and then i think it takes us uh close to being near the top again i can't remember off the top of my head but i will check later on but let's get a win and let's just see what happens and hopefully we're looking at three points at the end of it so first off forest green do what basically barnsley did to us really Got in our faces. Real, we were really poor. You couldn't get the feet on the ball. They had a lot of chances. Every time we knocked something long, they had two or three players on us each time. And each time they had a player on us, it juggled. Really small pitch. A very small pitch. And when we got a small pitch, we struggle to get any kind of movement at all. Movement like that. We're lacking people. Backington in that first half was an absolute passenger. Did nothing in that game. Absolutely nothing for us. We really did struggle. Big style. Um, he just, just left the options. And you look at their goal. It's a very good goal. And it comes in. Good cross. And Dawson beaten. And it's just poor defending again. Kept on making our own mistake. Dawson nearly made... A really bad howler at the back. Defence had gone from being really confident and really assured to nowhere near where it'd been. And some people have called this. Andy in the Discord for the Talking Wednesday in Death Day about the Discord has been calling this for a couple of weeks. He had said that the kind of result versus Barnley and versus... Um, uh, Forest Green, like today, have been coming. They go 1-0 up, and we look lost. Nothing sticking up top. 
nothing really helping, really struggling. I often been Bambi on ice again. Really bad play by him at times. Trying to get the ball in midfield and there's nothing sticking at all. Nothing really going forward. We've had lots of the ball, but done nothing with it. You can have all the ball as much as you like, but unless you're going to do something with it, what's the point? And Forrest Green has stuck to their game plan. And they just really out-muscled us in, the, in midfield. They put two players on each player. Chuck like chop down all the base that we would normally go for and nowhere near base that we can find. If we don't have the face and if people get in our faces, we crumble. This is twice now. And you could say that kind of happened against Bolton when we had to take Windass off. He, we crumbled a little bit then because they got in our faces and we crumbled a little bit. Couldn't make anything going. And this is something that you're thinking, can we improve this in the second half? Can we change it up a little bit? So let's see what we can do in that second half. But first half, fair play to Boris Green. Outplayed us, outmuscled us, made us lose in any kind of direction we were going to go. Really well played. And you can't say nothing to their credit in that first half done really well. So let's see if we change it in the second half. So in the second half, Hunt comes on for Iorfa to try and change things because Iorfa just been poor. He really have. Hunt comes on. He starts to change it a little bit. Balls are going a little bit better down the wing. Johnson comes into it a bit more. Bannon comes into it a bit more. But then you also got to think, Backington is still a passenger. Lou passes left, right and centre by him. They have chances going forward and one really glorious champ for them. And it could have been 2-0. And if that went in, I would have said it was game over. I really would have done with how we played today. I would have said it was game over. But it's a good save by Dawson. And it doesn't get given in the corner because they get given the goal kick. But it was a good save by Dawson. And they just keep knocking on the door at times when they get bored. We look scared every time they get an attack going. We finally come to our senses. Delhi comes on and uh, Adoniran goes off and Backinson goes off and Vokes comes on. Does change things, start to look a little bit better going forward. But each time we're going forward, they have got all players behind the ball. When teams have got all players behind the ball, we struggle. We can't break them down. They're, as soon as the ball's in their half, they put everybody behind them. Ch changing the pace. We get balls in, but nothing really happens. There was a really tame header by Smith and it came to nothing. Either side, it goes either way. Gregory had a chance, but it's a, both Smith and Gregory were going for it. There was a chance for Smith in the first half as well. We're trying to get balls in. Palmer has a chance, but nothing. But then when we got the ball, little bells are passing and then we give it back to them and then they get it forward or they boot it long. There was a bit where Dawson kicked it away from the halfway line. He was at halfway line and kicked it straight to a um, Forest Green player. Thankfully for us, they were offside as they went to do it. And they're putting all the pressure on us at times and slowing the game down, doing what you do when you're in that position. And this is Duncan Ferguson's first win for Forest Green manager. Really, I think it's his first win anyway. Really good win for him. And you cannot, I cannot praise Forest Green Football Club with how they played today enough because they've seen what Barnsley did on Tuesday night. If we get in their face and get aggressive, Sheffield Wednesday Football Club don't like it. They have no options on the bench, so they have to stay with this. Not having Wilkes, even if he wasn't 50%, who cost us a little bit. We really struggled today. Again, against Barnsley. We lose this game 1-0. We lose this game 1-0. And you're thinking, right, the game done now. It's 1-0. We now have to go to Cheltenham, who play a very similar football to Forest Green. Another more narrow pitch. Darren is going to have to change this up a bit. He's going to have to figure out what's gone wrong the last three games, to be fair. We know that's gone wrong with the Barnsley, with the Bolton game and Barnsley. There's been no Windass. No Windass has cost us because we have no attacking pace. There is no pace in that team when you don't have a Windass. Wilkes has got to be fit for Wednesday night. He's just got to be. Just so we can change it up a little bit. Or if you're going to do it, play with either one up top with uh, Gregory or 
Smith and have Bannon play as the 10. And then have Delhi and possibly Volks play in that midfield. Change it up that way. Because right now, it's not working with Gregory and Smith up top. They're too similar. And because they're too similar, it's not working. Yes, this could be our blip where it's coming at the really bad time. The bad time for us to come in and have a blip. That loss keeps us just behind uh, Plymouth, who are in third place. We're on 78 points. We're still in it. By a, we're not lost it by a long shot. Lots of games to go. But we need to start seeing players come back from injury sooner than later. Because right now, we're really struggling. We look out of ideas today, again, like we did a little bit. Barnsley game, you could say, we got back into it, got to today. Didn't look like getting back into it at all. Really didn't. Had chances, but they put everything behind the players. And if you actually look what games we've got coming up, we've got Cheltenham, we've got Lincoln, we've got Oxford, we've got um, Atkinson Stanley, again, in a relegation scrap, just like Forest Green. You've got Burton Albion, who are not in a relegation scrap. They look like they're starting to come away from it. Um, you've got Bristol Rovers. You've got Exeter City, who has been good. You've got Shrewsbury Town, and then you've got Derby. There's a lot of games here because that could be potential banana skins, like we just have worth versus Forest Green. Fair play to Forest Green. They outplayed us at times, how they played and kept the ball. We looked lethargic. We looked tired. So many games in quick concession. And if you actually look at what games are coming up, there's not many games where we get a break proper break until after the Lincoln game at home. And then we've got Oxford where we get one, two, three, four days off. And then it two games again. And then another four another four days off again. And then it's Burton and Bristol Rovers thing. The problem is that the next time where we have a clear run up and a break is the 29th of April. And that might be too late by then. When they need to wake up now. Uh, two losses on the trot after a good Bell, great to, to have that bell where we've gone forward, but they need to figure out a change in plan. Fair play to uh, Forest Green. At really fair play. They had a game plan. They got in our faces. Um, they put men behind the ball. When they when team play like League One, League Two teams, we found it out last season. We struggle to play against them because we can't get the low block. The low block dots of playing. We know about that from last season. So it's Sheffield went th it's Forest Green won, Sheffield went the nil. Darren needs to try and figure out how to get the players up ready for uh, Cheltenham.